hey fellow animators, I am Elohtek. Alright, welcome back guys, this is the finish line. Only mouth, hair, eyebrows and clothes remaining. Even though it seems like a lot, it won't take long really. Let's right away start with the mouth and hide the body so we can see it better. Apply a default material to it and a skin modifier. Add bones and what do we need? Just both teeth, all the tongue bones and also the jaw. Ok, first thing, set the bone effect limit to 4 and let's edit the skin. Actually, we don't want to see these envelopes here, so hide them in a display rollout and also enable vertices selection. So upper teeth, check select element option and start up the weight tool. Select any vertices of the upper teeth, as we have the select element option on, it will select all the vertices anyway and set the weight to 1 for the upper teeth bone. Select all the lower teeth vertices below and also set the weight to 1 for the lower teeth bone. The last thing to do now is the tongue. And let's start by setting all of its vertices to 1 for the tongue 1 bone. Move the timeline to a place where the tongue is actually outside, so we can see it better. Uncheck select element and let's edit. Select all of these back vertices and actually weight them to a jaw. This way, even if we wanted to pull out the tongue really far, it will stay inside the mouth. Now blend the jaw a bit better, so we have to put some weight also to these other vertices. This loop let's say 0.5 and this loop 0.1. Ok, now the other tongue bones. Tongue 2. Give that one maybe 0.25 here already and for now put in one for the rest of the vertices. For this loop, let's introduce tank 3 already. And the rest of the vertices to 0.9 and start blending them with other bones. Now we have this and it's actually working alright. But let's try and blend it some more with the other bones. However, as the bones are really close to each other with only few vertices between them, blend can mess it up. So be careful not to overdo it. Alright, this looks fine. We can also take a look at how it looks with the body as well. And it looks great. If we wanted something like this, we would also have to animate this bone. Like this. That's exactly why we have made those bones in the first place. Alright, that's that. Now the hair. Again, apply a default grey material to it and also a skin modifier. So what bones will we need here? Obviously head, but also all the small eyebrow bones. Limit the bones to 4. Edit envelopes, vertices and let's edit. All the hair vertices, nothing to think about here, just weigh them to 1 for the head. Done. Eyebrows, those will be a bit harder than they look because we have to gradually blend all the bones, but nothing we could not handle. This is how it looks by default. We will remove the head influence here and let's start blending. Blend, 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 blend. Somewhere you will probably get a mess like this. But what we can do now is to select one vertex, copy its values, select the whole loop and paste it to the whole loop. So now all of the vertices in one loop will have the same values and move together. And do that for all the loops that seem broken. And after that, blend again all the bones between each other and it should be much better. Now there will probably be areas like this where there is a really sharp transition, because the last loop has a big influence for a particular bone. So lower it. And also for the others. Or just use blend again to smooth everything. 
Just try to use all the skills you have acquired and try to make as smooth surface as possible. It shouldn't be hard, just look for any oddities and fix them. After you are done with that, mirror the weights to the other side. When you activate the mirror mode, you can see all the hair vertices are red, as it's not a symmetrical mesh, but the eyebrows are, so they are green and blue. Mirror it and done. Let's put in back the materials for all the meshes, and all the body meshes for the character are finished. The only thing left are the clothes. However, first, after finishing such a big task like this, it's quite good to go over the whole work and just check if we can find some areas that are not done very well or could be improved. If we take a look at the head here, everything seems to be working quite well. This eyebrow animation is actually what we wanted. The thing is that the external eyebrows are moving together with the main eyebrow bones and have different weights, so they go out of the head. We can solve that by counter animating it, which is how we have the setup now. If you would not like this setup, you could have the eyebrow bone linked to the head instead of to the eyebrow main bone as it is now. Or you could also skin it differently and keep the head bone influence for the eyebrow there. But that would be harder to skin as it would have to have similar values like the head mesh has beneath it, so they would move together. I did it like this for the purpose of keeping it easier for this tutorial but it's good to know there are always different solutions if you wanted them. But let's undo that and look at the other areas. For example here, this area we have just blasted through, but these vertices could use some more love. Most of this stuff should be solvable with just blending. This, this is a similar problem like we had just now while skinning the eyebrows. Let's first blend what we can. And now the last loop needs to have a lower weight than this. And maybe even this loop a bit. Just to smooth it more. Ok. Alright, you could go through a whole rig like this, but keep in mind that you will probably always find something and just don't spend extreme amount of time on it, trying to perfect every single vertex. At some point just consider it finished. Ok, now the absolute last thing remaining to do is all the cloth meshes. That will be extremely easy because of one very useful modifier you will need to remember. Let's unhide the shirt and don't apply skin modifier to it, but apply a skin wrap modifier. Skin wrap will take skin values from a different mesh and will apply them to this one. So in parameters, add our body mesh, because that is the one we want to take the skin values from, and you will see that it will immediately move with the original mesh. It's basically a one-click solution. I usually use vertex deformation, and you have some parameters here that you should always play with to find a good result. Check the animation how it looks like and if there aren't any weird areas. But here, these vertices in the middle, that's... that's not good. We need to edit that. Let's get back to the body mesh and its skin. And select those vertices. It's actually collar bones. We need to add more weight to them so they move the mesh a bit more.
Just blend was enough to solve all this. And now these vertices move together with the arms. Cool. And also, if you now unhide the shirt, you can see it got fixed also there, because it takes the skin values from the body mesh. Now that the skin wrap is ok, we can go down here and check weight all points and then convert to skin. It will automatically disable the skin wrap and create a new skin modifier with the same values as the skin wrap head. Which is awesome. Now we can delete the skin wrap as we won't need it anymore. And here we already know all this, so let's just limit bone affection to 4 and done. Now we will do the exact same thing for the rest of the meshes. Let's continue with pants. Apply skin wrap, add a body mesh to it, play with the parameters if needed and done. Convert to skin, delete, set to 4 bones and move on. Shoes, skin wrap, body, check the deformations, basically here we only care about this bending, but that's absolutely fine. Convert to skin, delete, 4 bones. And guys, I have some great news for you. You have completed the whole character from start to finish, ready to be animated. This is a huge achievement. I congratulate you. Go get yourself a beer or something and celebrate. You can now also apply a turbo smooth modifier to all the meshes to smooth out the geometry a bit. You can always disable it later if you don't want it. And I think we are done here. If you watched it this far, I would like to ask you again to consider supporting the channel. This video series was a huge undertaking also for me and took much more time to finish than I expected. I did it for over 5 months in the evenings after my regular full-time job and other gigs I do. By supporting the channel you give me more reasons to invest time into more videos instead of other paid projects I do in the evenings. Thank you very much. I am Milos Czerny and thank you for watching.